In this video, I show you how to mount a drive in Linux and have it automatically mount every time your computer starts up. I do it in a safe and simplistic manner that many other tutorials out there do not show. Okay, we're going to start this off by mounting uh, our secondary drive in Linux. So we'll pull up our file explorer. And this is actually in Fedora 29. I've kind of reskinned this, so it looks a little bit off. Uh, and that's what uh, this actual whole GUI is. But open up your file explorer. And if you go to other locations here, this is the same for Ubuntu as well. So uh, you'll see you have your standard hard drive up here and then any other partitions or other drives that it's on here. Um, Right here is my secondary drive, which is already mounted, but we're gonna go ahead and unmount this today. It'll prompt you for a password, enter that in, and then it is unmounted. So this is what you guys would see to mount. You just simply click it, type in a password, authenticate, and then you'd have it actually mounted. So that's how to mount it in the GUI, but you'd have to do that every single time you start your computer up, which is no good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and undo our mount. So we're going to start fresh. So we're going to go ahead, unmount again. And now it's pretty much as we left it. So this is how your computer would look when you boot it up. What we have to do is prepare a folder for it to actually be at. To do this, we open up our terminal. We pull this over and we want to know where we're going to put it. I recommend putting it in CD root media. Do a LL. I've already created a folder here data, but let's just go ahead and pretend this goes into another one. We'll call it make directory data two or MKDIR data two. We'll say permission denied because we didn't do sudo. So we do make directory data to. And I'm just going to show you the listing here again. You notice when we create this as sudo, it assigns root this directory. We don't want that because we want this user assigned to it. This is the easiest way to mount another drive because it doesn't actually technically need another uh, a bunch of options in your fstab or it, where you can make mistakes and have your computer not boot, all kinds of bad stuff can come from that. So that's why I like making the directory and then assigning it to the user because typically on mine, I'm the only person logging in and out and I don't really care about anything else. And that's why we want to head and change it to the actual user I log in as. That way we don't need root privileges or any of that other crap to access the actual drive. So let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to just go sudo ch own our user titus tech and titus tech again that's the user i've actually logged in as and you can see that uh in the other way as well so let's go ahead with this assigned we need to go data to enter and we do a long listing again and you'll notice it has changed now, I don't actually need to do this because I've already done the other folder, so we're just going to remove that. Yes. And now we have our data set up. We've assigned ownership of it. Now we need to actually physically change the fstav so it will automatically start up and mount this drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Do sudo nano or whatever text editor you want to do etc fstab and from here you're going to see a uuid at the very bottom here media dash data that's the folder we created ntfs because this is actually a windows uh, thing because i dual boot so i access my windows drive on both when i boot into windows and also when i boot into here so i can easily swap information back and forth so that's an ntfs if you're doing only pure linux it's probably going to be ext4 um, and then it's just defaults, zero, zero. Really simple, far different than many other tutorials out there. The reason I do it this way is because if you make mistakes when you enter a whole bunch of options in FSTAB, your computer won't boot. And you're going to be having to go to a live environment and changing FSTAB. And if you can't get to a live environment, you, your computer just won't boot.
With that said, we need to find out the UUID for this drive. Just in case you plug in USB or it changes or whatever, you don't want that. So you always want to assign that secondary drive as the UUID. So to do that, you do BLK ID. And if it shows nothing, actually you need to elevate. So sudo BLK ID. And you'll see all the partitions and drives that are on this one. Now the one we have is called data. It's labeled data up here. And it's UUID is actually this guy. Don't pay attention to part UUID. You just need this UUID here. So this BAFCA5 is what you need. We'd copy that. And also look at the type. The type is what you want to enter in FSTAB. A lot of tutorials out there will say like NTFS or NTFS dash 3G or a lot of other ones. Always just type this in. Um, those other types were more prevalent like five, six years back on Linux, uh, but they're pretty much degraded these days. So just it, it's smart enough now that you just type these types in and they, they figure it out. So we're just going to go back to FSTAB here. And you'll see our UUID equals that number we copied. We paste that in. And then we do root media data. That's the folder we created. And then if we look over here on, this is going to be the type NTFS. This is going to be default. It matches all the other Linux shares. And then zero space zero. And that is it. That is how you properly mount a drive in a very simplistic way without endangering not getting your computer to boot, all those things. Now, once you've done this before rebooting, you always want to test it. So the easy way to do that is go mount, sudo mount dash A. And if it succeeds, this is what you get. And if you look at our file explorer back here, you'll notice we have the eject icon up here. That means it's mounted successfully and we can easily access it. So with this, we reboot the computer and our share would pop up. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.